Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this this ride actually took place uh, the 24th of June, Sunday. Um, this first clip here starts at 6.54 a.m. when we're meeting up at the, uh, just a gas station, bakery. So, I this is one of those trips, one of those rides that I really had a blast. I, I, I had a good time riding with the guys. Um, what ended up happening a few months ago, so I think two of these guys, Scott and Harry, are doing the Transamerica Trail together next summer on uh, on the bikes you see here. I believe that Scott was going to purchase uh, a, um, a lighter bike, a more up, up, up high bike, but um, these guys are trying to, to do some pre-tat rides, and for their big trip this year, they wanted to do a six-day trip to Prince Edward Island and back. And uh, all three of these guys, I think they all have kids. So you know, when you're when you're older, you've got mouths to feed, you've got children. Uh, taking a solo trip away from your wife and kids for six days is a big deal. Uh, even bigger will be the tat next year. So um, so they invited me along initially, and then uh, I started looking at all of my days off and what's going on. I get um, almost eight hours per pay period off for pay time off. So it's about 25 days per year on top of the normal holidays. And um, while I have plenty of time still in the bank, I've been trying to, uh, to keep it always, a little bit of buffering because I get sick because it is, it is sick leave and, um, and vacation time combined. Um, so they invited me along. I started looking at my outlook. And if I had taken the full six days off with them, which was five weekdays plus a, a Sunday, I, I would have had um, a tough time doing that and then doing my two-week trip that's coming up this week. So... Um, it was a great ride. What I did was I rode with them off-road and on-road, with the roads like this, from um, from central New Hampshire, Lebanon, New Hampshire, all the way to Bangor, um, Maine. And then uh, basically it was like 7 or 8 o'clock at night. So from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. we rode together. I put the best moments here into like an eight-minute video. Just This is some of my favorite clips. And what ended up happening was um, they were about 30 minutes from their campsite. I turned around and took... Um, back roads home a little bit of dirt but mostly tarmac home on the gs so for me it was <laughs> it was me kind of like a a trans labrador labrador prep for my butt and my knees and my back and head or neck and all that stuff shoulders uh to make sure the ergos on the bike were doing well um i think i crossed 640 miles that day over 15 hours and that includes a lot of roads like this so we were we were definitely having a blast a lot of unmaintained roads a lot of deer a lot of various varmint i like saying varmint uh what i the only thing about this trip that i'm that the only thing that's changing on my bike in, in, in relation to this trip is that uh i ended up buying the when i ordered my pivot pivot pegs from Touratech, uh, i had a 150 dollars gift card thanks to my friends of the canadian um, bmw club the quebec club they sent me a 150 gift card because they won it in a raffle but it's redeemable only in the usa Touratech store so i got 150 and i bought these pivot pegs for 169 and um, i love them for off-roading i love them for standing i've really gotten used to the the, the the way they move forward and back but um long slab like that last 200 miles that i rode back home or 300 miles straight um they're too pointy they really kind of the balls of my feet really hurt on them so uh, i kind of learned that um that uh the toppers that you can buy for them for 20 dollars that i thought were stupid because why would you put toppers on your enduro pegs it's actually kind of smart so I ordered those they'll be here tomorrow you can actually zip tie them onto the pivot pegs you can just cut a zip tie and they come right off so for days that it gets super muddy and we have to be um, like <laughs> it was a sign that says uh, road ends uh, road, tarmac ends ahead or asphalt ends so for uh, for the long days in the saddle and the tarmac they're gonna be great and then I can slip them right off and it gets muddy and I need to look more um, control over the riding when the standing position or moving around the bike a little bit more and then also this is the first day of me testing the Garmin inReach which I wanted to get a good day of data messaging my girlfriend back and forth and seeing how that works so um, yeah this is this is awesome. So I'll leave it there. I want the rest of the rest of the video to play out. Um, the guys had a great trip. They went all the way to Prince Edward Island and back. Predominantly ro uh, dirt roads, lots of twisties, uh, camping the whole time. They had a blast, and uh, I regret not going with them. The pictures they sent back on the Google Drive were really, really good, and I'm certainly jealous. But uh, I'm going to take a similar trip. Basically, I'm going to do 
something incredibly similar, at least I'm taking the opposite direction to Prince Edward Island and then taking uh, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia home. So I'll take their route home, <laughs> but I won't be camping any of the spots they camped in. Um, so yeah, thanks, thanks for watching this video clip. It's going to keep going for a little longer. Uh, this is just me testing out gloves in reach, uh, the gear I was wearing, the pivot pegs. Uh, I had the full boxes on, full of. I had all my gear with me uh, for the trip, so I just kind of got everything basically getting a feel for it and uh, seeing how it goes. Um, no complaints, it all went well, except for the pegs. So, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of this video. Thanks so much for watching.